Greetings, everybody. This is Brian Nelson Jr., the administrator of the Leave It to Beaver fan club on Facebook. I also administrate the new Leave It to Beaver slash Still the Beaver fan page, also on Facebook. Today, we're going to talk to Jerry Weil. She played Beaver's class nemesis and tattletale Judy Hensler. We're going to talk to her about her childhood career on Leave It to Beaver, as well as other roles that she had played including a role that she played as an older Judy Hensler in the 1980s Beaver revival, The New Leave It to Beaver. So thank you very much, Jerry, for joining us for this interview today. I guess our first question is going to be, what was it like for the interview process on Leave It to Beaver? Do you remember anything about the audition? I don't remember. (laughs) Like I said, I went on, you know, numerous interviews when I was a girl. Right. Right. So, you know, I can't remember, especially the specific ones. Oh, I'd imagine. Like we said, it's Mm -hmm. 60 plus years ago. So, yeah, it's it's been a while. Yeah. Tell me about it. (laughs) When you were now we were talking about memory. I don't know if you'll be able to dig this one out of the hat, but. okay, go ahead. It's always fair weather. And you played... Oh, yeah. Do you remember oh. doing that? And how did that yeah, audition Yeah, that was a process? movie. Yeah. That was a movie. Right. Oh, yes, I remember doing doing that. Did you do any work with Gene Kelly or any rehearsing yes, with Gene I Kelly? Yes, I did. Yes. What was that experience like? Well, it's not like I had a personal experience with Gene Kelly. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, uh, I don't know what to say. What that it, it was exciting, I guess. I don't know. He's too young to know who Gene Kelly was. Right. You're I'm at that sure. odd age where you don't realize mm-hmm. who you're in front of. Exactly. You know, I interviewed someone some years ago who worked with Jack, uh, work, uh, not Jack, that was his character's name, but John Ritter. And she didn't realize what kind of a big star he was. And, you know, he... John Ritter? Yeah. She, she didn't know he was a, a star? Not, he had his own sh- series. Oh, yeah. He years, had a, didn't he? Yeah, he had a couple of different series. And he... Okay. The one she worked in with was Three's Company. Uh-huh. And that would be uh, Kalina Kiff, who played Wally's daughter on the new Leave at the Beaver. Oh, and, interesting. Right. When she played a role on Three's Company, she was a very, you know, she was a very little girl and didn't realize, you know, what... Oh, that it was John Ritter? Right. She didn't realize the magnitude of who he was. Oh, working with... Okay. Right. So when she worked with yeah, him, it was... me too. Yeah. <laughs> so it, pretty much the same, same thing. She was a little older right. than you were, but yeah, she had the same experience. So working on Leave it to Beaver, that was your your longest running role. You played uh-huh, uh-huh. on quite a few episodes, actually. What was it like working with specifically Jerry Mathers? Oh, very nice. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's a very nice guy. How about the other ones? What about... Uh, Ruddy Haskell. Rusty Stevens? Yeah, he was nice. Uh, They were all nice. Yeah, Stanley. Maybe not Eddie, but... (laughs) Did did you have any experience with Eddie off the set? I mean, did you... I know that, you know, when you did scenes, most of the time you worked in the act... I wasn't in scenes with Eddie, not in my mind. Okay, okay. Well, that's... Yeah, I mean... Again, you didn't work with them very often, but, you know, if ever, some of them you Yeah, we were all there usually. Right. And, you know, most of the time... If we were in that episode, huh? Right. Most of the time you would be, like, off... You know, if you were working on a scene, and as many may know or may not know, you don't work on scenes chronologically. You know, you might work on a scene that's you know, towards the end of the show first, or, you know, it all depended oh, I see on... what you're saying. Right. Yeah. 
yeah, it all depended on on what I actors. I think that one did, truthfully. Which one was that? Okay, what did it depend on? It depended a lot on, uh, like, you know, if they wanted to get the kids done as soon as possible because they had time limits. The adults, they could keep as long as they wanted to, but they wanted to get this kid's son, the kids' scenes done first. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. Right, right. Well, I don't know. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Well, you know, again, this is a long time ago. Yes, it is a very long time ago. So, now you, Diane Brewster, you worked with Sue Randall, Doris Packer. They played teachers. Yeah, I, I know who they were. Yeah, Doris. One Doris of them was a principal. Yeah, Doris Packer was a principal. Yeah. What was it like working yeah. with her? Well, again, well. She was very nice. Well, you know what? I think she would do her scene and, like, I don't know, go to her dressing room or something. I don't remember ever. Because she worked in a I lot of stuff. Ever. You know, she was in the industry for a while. In, right. You know, and she was in her, hmm, she was up there. I don't know where she was in age, but she, uh, you know, Diane Brewster, she was... She went off and did some movies later. And Sue Randall, okay. she she was, you know, she was a, uh, you know, it, it seemed like there was, you know, an acting, you know what acting she does. She died but. really young, didn't she, Sue Randall? Yes, yes. In a car accident or something? I don't recall the reason. I always thought it was because she was ill. Well, she was a real sweetheart, I'll tell you that. Was she? Yeah, she was. Everybody was really nice. I mean, uh, I can't think of anyone that wasn't. Maybe the director. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like working with Norman Tokar? Oh, you know, because of the part I played? Mm -hmm. He would, like, get me all riled up. <laughs> before my scenes like to make me angry so I'd come across angry or come across that way he just knew how to press my buttons so what is an example what would he do oh I don't remember again I know it's a long time ago but <laughs> I don't remember that why would I remember something so insignificant oh, I well know. I guess it isn't to you well I wasn't there, nor, you know, I mean, I wasn't anywheres around at that point. But, yeah, I, I thought maybe, you you know, you, you remembered the fact that he did things to rile, rile you up and, you know, get you kind of in your, right. in your character. In my character. Yeah, I, he was, he's a legendary, he's a legendary director in the Living yes. with the Beaver okay. world. Right. I think also... I think maybe he was like a Disney director from Disney or something. That's what I've heard, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I guess he was good with kids. Yes, yes, he was He was very good with kids. In fact, uh, Jerry has said that, you know, he was, he was a very, you know, the, well, the whole entire set was very good with kids. As a matter of fact, the, the creators... They yeah, commanded. well, that was from their own life. One of them, the scripts. Uh huh. They were based on one of his kids. The way I understand it. Yeah, they both you know, had one of the writers. Right, they both had many kids between them, and a lot of the stuff okay. came from both of their kids' lives. But I, but yeah, um, I heard that. Eddie Haskell came from a friend of Bob Moser Jr., Bob Moser's son. Oh, oh, really? <laughs> uh, uh, his real son's friend, you mean? Yes, and I believe his name was Eddie Haskell. I could be wrong about that. Oh. 
but I believe that was the case. Uh, maybe. You know, writers, they they stick names in, in stuff, in writings. Okay. <laughs> well, Eddie Askell, it is. So now, Judy Hensler, her mother once said that when she was a baby, she looked like Shirley Temple. Uh-huh. Was that the case for yourself in real life? As a younger you, before Leave it to Beaver, say three or four years old? Oh, God. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> okay, ask me that again. <laughs> now, Was who what? <laughs> <laughs> Judy Hensler had once said in an episode that was... Oh, oh, yeah, with, yeah, yeah. With the uh, beauty My contest. Said I look... Right, right. That, uh, that you looked like... I don't know. You'd have to ask my mother, who's passed on, so that would be a good trick. Yeah, that'd be tough. Yeah. <laughs> so that that goes as an unknown. I know that, uh, well, in that, in that episode, many pictures were used, and it's always a mystery whether real pictures of the actual person were used. Oh. Now, the oh. picture that was used for you, which was said to be by Judy, that it was a big colored picture of you as a baby, and you look just like Shirley Temple. Where did you see this picture of me as a baby? Now, this wasn't you really. It was just in that episode, it was probably a picture they had, they had found oh, in a property. Oh, some little girl with, with curls? Right, right. Then they just... Oh, well, somebody just sent me a picture. To autograph, and that's who it was. It was that girl. <laughs> I thought, really? That is so funny. He doesn't even know that's not me. Yeah, he's writing a book. Oh wow, that's that's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought it was a riot. Yeah, that all those pictures. You know, there was in that episode, Beaver. His mother finds a picture for that contest. And it's not very flattering, according to Beaver. It's a picture with his bare bottom, and he's self-conscious about it. And he doesn't want to tell his mother that he doesn't like the picture because she thinks it's cute. She thought it's so cute. Yeah, so okay. Ward fixed that. But yeah, none of Good. that picture... Ward usually does. Yeah, and he didn't... That, he was a very good father, Ward. Yes, yes. The model father. Yes, know. of fatherhood. Yes. yes, it was. All, all. My father always told me, he's like, son, I, I may not be Ward Cleaver, but I, I do try my best. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's funny. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, well, wait till you tell him you talk to me. Oh, you've already talked to a bunch of people. Never mind. A couple. Yeah. Sounds so, like it. Yeah, a few. So, when you were on the series, you worked, you, you know, you did school on an on-set school, uh -huh. the studio school. How did that work? Did you have, like, a set time, or did, what, did you go... No. No, you'd go into school, and when they needed you, they'd call Jerry. I was Jerry 2. Right. Because he was Jerry 1. Oh, <laughs> so you were Jerry 2. So they would I call you, two. and they'd when say... When they called, you know. Ah. When they called who they needed. Okay, Jerry yeah. 2. <laughs> Jerry 2. Yeah, and he was Jerry 1. That's right. Since we were both Jerry's. That's right. That's how they distinguished it. So is your Jerry short for something? No. It's just... It's just Jerry. Just Jerry. I like that. Yeah. Very cool. Well, I was named after my mother's brother who died real young. Oh, okay. His name was Gerald. Oh, well, that's close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, as much as they could get, I guess, for a girl, or so they thought. Yeah, I, you know, it's, it's interesting what you can, you know, if if you, uh, some names you can do that. Some names you can, 
you can name yeah, a child. The, yeah, it, it does. Yeah, like Jesse. Jesse's one, and yeah, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Some you can alter, like you could do Eric, and then right. it'll be Erica. Uh huh. You know. Something no, like there's that. lots. Oh, there's many, many, many. Okay. Lots, yeah. Yeah. So, your very first role, again, this goes way back. You probably... I was um, sleeping in a crib when uh, in a John Wayne movie. And that would, that would be, according to what I saw on IMDb, um, <laughs> that was the Eddie Cantor story. Uh-huh. And yeah, you played a you played a little girl and yeah, I would imagine you were three Edna. Edna. Her name was Edna. Oh wow. <laughs> I, See, I remember some things. Yeah, the ones that you do remember when you're three years old. That's that's pretty impressive. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so also, according to IMDb, your your last role, Judy Hensler was your last role. Now, when yes. you left the series, did you know you are going to be leaving it? And if so, or if not, or if so, how did they notify you that you were going to be leaving? Oh, gosh. I don't even remember if that was their decision or mine, truthfully. I don't know. All I know is I left. Yeah. I don't know. All right. So after that, you you left acting. Was that because you just lost interest, or did something else come about in your life that shied well, you away from it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> they used to tape down my chest with the ace bandage. I didn't like that very much. Oh, I imagine not. Yeah. So that's that's pretty much. I mean, that that was your decision, saying, "Yeah, well, I don't, I'm done with this acting now." You know, after you left, leave at the Beaver, that was it. So you I didn't, didn't want to. Yeah, I I guess I was foolish because look at all these ones that started as kids that are either still acting or directing or you know, oh totally producing. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's. Uh, actually, uh, Richard Rickover, he, he's he's still in the business, and he does, he's a producer, and he does all sorts of things. There you go. Yeah. There you go. So then you reprised your role in 1987 in the new Leave at the Beaver. Yes. Your, your, your it son. Is all this on IMDb. It is. It is. I just happen to know that because I've watched the new series. But it is on IMDb, yes. Yes. Interesting. Yes. And I better check it out. Yeah. And may check me. Somebody my... asked me if I was on it once, and I said, I have no idea. <laughs> he was like a casting director or something that I was working with. But, yeah. Was that, like, Long ago, with casting director, probably within the last twenty years. Uh, Where IMDb you know, oh, was. Oh, that was a long time ago. But yeah. I was there. I looked, and I was there. But it didn't have detail like this. Well, maybe it did. It has my resume, right? Right, and directors, you know, if you get a a pro version of 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 that website it gives you a little oh. more information on it and if you you know if you just go to the regular website that gives you you know it, it gives you basic information it doesn't give you like contact info obviously they're not going to do that but i think that's what the, the the um the pro stuffs gives you gives directors yeah, more detailed information yeah how to contact the um agent and such you know that way Wow, who is my agent? Oh, <laughs> I have no idea. I don't have the I don't okay. have the pro version. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, what? How did they? How did they contact you for that episode of the new show? 
Oh, this is funny. I heard they were making it, and they hadn't called me. And so I had everyone I know write letters <laughs> to the producer. And he calls me and he says, you waged a really good campaign. <laughs> I've got a part for you. <laughs> so yeah, you, you pitched worked. them something at that point? How did that work, the campaign that he talked about? Well, with my friends writing letters. Oh, okay. You know, cool. where's Judy Hensler? What about Judy Hensler, you know? Right. My favorite was Judy Hensler. That's what he meant. I waged a good campaign. Oh, okay. And I got a part. That's awesome. So it wasn't much of a part, but it was one scene. It was kind of cool. What do you remember about that scene? I remember that I said that my husband was a proctologist. <laughs> what, what was Beaver's response? Oh, God, I don't remember. I, 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 you'd have to watch it. I don't know. I could give you an idea, because I know the line, because I've watched it a few no, times. What is the line? And the line is, well, you know, he comes up to your porch, and he doesn't, re you know, he... He's going to talk right. about your son, not realizing that Judy Hensler is his mother. So he, dis uh, he, dis right, he right. discovers that you're at the porch, you answer the door, and he says, Judy? Or you came to Beaver? Beaver Cleaver? Judy? <laughs> Judy Hensler? And so he's like, and you said, yeah, Judy Hensler Benton, wife of Dr. Benton, as well as what they call him in St. Louis, Mr. Proctology. Oh. <laughs> and then Beaver That's says, funny. yeah, and then Beaver says, well, then I'm sure you make a fine couple. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, then they go on and they talk about your son and, and you know, and, and then you bring your son out and <laughs> you say, did you did you beat up this is Mr. Cleaver? Did you beat up his ugly kid the other day? <laughs> yeah, I remember that line. Did you beat I mean I wouldn't have if you had not said it. Right, right. A little little yeah. refreshing of the memory. I believe if I remember Exactly. If I remember correctly, the episode was written by the father of the young boy who played the boy that your son oh, was beating up okay. on. He played Beaver's son. Okay. Which would be John Snee, and his dad's name was Dennis Snee. That sounds familiar. Yeah, and he, he wrote that episode, I believe. That could be. Yes. So were you approached to do the movie at all? I didn't know there was a movie. Yeah, the the movie was acted as a pilot, and that came out in 1983. Um, it was it was, you know, the writing process started in 1982. Uh, Hugh Beaumont was written in it originally, and he ended up getting sick and was unable to do it. So they had to kind of rewrite it, and they did flashbacks with him, and. It was a CBS movie of the week, and they, they, you know, it was a Saturday night at the movies, CBS. It was a seven o'clock deal, and it's it's out there. It can be viewed. It's on YouTube. Um, Scott Hetrick has a YouTube page that has every single new Leave It to Beaver on it, including the every movie. new one. Include, Not the old ones? Right, the new ones. All the new well, ones. Well, he's missing out. Well, he, the old he knows... The are better, aren't they? Well, I like the old ones. I like the new ones, too. I mean, obviously, they're not the same. They aren't still making it, no. No, 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 no. Okay. There was four seasons of the new series. And, you know, the gentleman that has got it out all on his, fa on his YouTube, he has all the original record, you know, he he recorded all the original broadcasts and he still has those. 
So he's put them all up on, on YouTube, and they're available to be viewed on there, and the movie as well. And oh, the, that's fun. Yeah, and the movie's really cool because... Well, how would I find it on YouTube? Uh, look for Scott Hetrick. H-E-T-T-R-I-C-K. Hetrick. He's got a lot of other stuff on there, but if you even go to YouTube and keyword Still the Beaver, Scott Hetrick. Oh, that, okay. That'll come up, and all the new Leave it the Beavers are on there, and including the episode you were in. Huh. Which I was, can watch that. Yeah, which was, in, it was titled Bruise Brothers. Because okay. Oliver, his son, you know, getting bruised up, by your son, Billy, Billy Benton. Ah. So if you would have been approached to do the movie, would have you done it? Yeah, sure. That would have been cool to see Judy Hensler. I know, you know, in the movie, there's flashbacks that Beaver, you know, Beaver's having marital issues and he's on a bus ride home and he comes home and he's, coming through the house and he's having flashbacks of his childhood. You see a lot of, of the old, you know, clips of the old series of, you know, when he was younger and they sh they showed a lot of Ward Cleaver advice. It was really, it was really put, put together well. Ah. So yeah, it, you know, I mean, yeah, definitely check it out. It's, it's a really, really cool series. I mean, it's not, it's not the old series, you know, it was done in the eighties and it was, you know, formatted for eighties TV, but it was very well done. I mean, it's for a, for a revival series, it was one of the best done out there. There's been a lot of remakes that didn't quite make it. Yeah. And, yeah, um, yeah. The new Leave It to Beaver had four seasons, you know, and they were four good seasons. And then they moved to Florida in in the last season, and they opened up the new the new studio down in uh, Orlando. Huh. So that was really cool. Yeah. So what did uh, after you know after you were done acting what? What did you do after that? I was a hairdresser, and then I was a realtor. You're a realtor. Cool. That yeah. That's got to be really, really neat in uh, in California. Yeah, it's fun. Looking at the houses. No, oh, especially out that's there. That's the best part of it. <laughs> Being that you were in the LA area, did you have any celebrity clients? No. No. Okay. Yeah, that would uh, that would be really really cool to go through houses in that area because LA, I mean it's it the, the houses there are just unreal. You know, they're they're huge and I mean even I mean it's expensive to live there. Yeah. But um yeah, the, the houses are are grand. I I'm sure that uh that uh no, they're really... smaller ones too. They aren't all grand. Oh no, 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 no. But L.A. is known for that, you know, so I'm sure there was a lot that you've seen. Yeah, there's definitely smaller ones. I don't discount that, of course. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, what are you up to these days? Um... <laughs> Not much. I garden a lot. I have a, a rental home that I take care of. That's about it. So you're rental. I'm retired, you know. Oh, yes, yes. You know, I mean, I'm looking forward to that, that time of life, retirement. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it, you know, it's going to be a while, but yeah, it's, it's something to look forward to for sure. Yeah. Very good. Anyway, i got to cut this short now. Well, that's good, because we were right at the end. Oh, good. Good. So, awesome. Okay. Well, it was a pleasure, I it guess. It was. It was. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, good. Yeah, and I'm I hope I hope I it. Yeah, and I hope I'm able to get out there to see you in I'll be Tennessee. Here. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, you're in Tennessee. Is no, I'm you I'm in Wisconsin, but I hope to see oh, you. Oh, right, Wisconsin. I, okay. You're making an appearance in Tennessee, and I hope to make. Oh, that's right, I am. Yeah, I, I make. Forgot, yeah. yeah, so I hoping to make that, and it'll it'll be nice. Oh, okay. Well, if you do, say hi. My thanks to Jerry Weil for allowing me to sit and chat with her today about her role as Judy Hensler, as well as other roles that she did in her childhood career. Jerry will be appearing at the Gallatin Comic Con on November 19th and 20th with a bunch of other Leave It to Beaver actors for a big Leave It to Beaver reunion. More details on that as they come. Stay tuned at the Leave It to Beaver fan club. More to come. Again, thank you for listening, and we'll see ya. Bye now. Bye, Judy. Ah, you big dummy.